I kind of build the framework for the design as almost a problem that I need to solve. And then because of my studio art background, I'd still to go into hand sketching as a next step. And then I would take it into my CAD program, which is where I would 3D model, really the nitty gritty, how things go together. And then sampling would come next, which is the fun part. It is where a two-dimensional sketch or an abstract idea becomes real. My name is Jerry Hobdi. I am a furniture and lighting designer, and I am the founder and furniture designer for Minot Home. I was an oil painter first, and then was looking for something to turn into a career. Came across furniture design in college, and felt like it was sculpture that you could sit on and live with. Minot Home is a resource for sustainable furniture. Our focus is primarily reducing waste, using climate-friendly materials, and then lowering the carbon footprint of everything that we do, from manufacturing to delivering the product. One of the most sustainable things you can do is keep product that already exists in circulation. That's going to be vintage and antique product. I curate all of our vintage. It's found almost entirely here in the state of Colorado, and it's all about making sure that those pieces make it into another space. Right now we're about to start using a variety of English walnut from an orchard in California and that orchard happens to be ready to cycle their trees out to plant new ones. It's just that time. So we're going to be reclaiming those English walnut trees and actually using the lumber to build our furniture. For me to be a good collaborator, it's up to me to understand and be empathetic to what tools they're using and how they're using them and how to achieve what I'm designing using those tools. A really good tool is something that is able to be applied in creative ways. Having a specialized tool for every individual little task can become a little onerous because it allows the user to use the tool in more creative applications. I hope my legacy, whether I'm able to build a successful business or not, is being an innovator and a creative problem solver that was focused on doing good. I'm hoping that I can continue to use my seat at the table within the industry so that it goes beyond theory and it can really enact some change.